Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Here You Learn TV, the channel of education purposes. This channel was created to provide for you different videos concerning the river, some skills which you can get you know, in real life situations. So now, first of all, you have to subscribe and click on the link to get notifications for any new uploaded video. So now, we are going to study how to use formulas and functions in Microsoft Excel. Formulas and functions in Microsoft Excel. So remember that Formulas and functions include sum, if function, and other functions where in Microsoft Excel we found we find those functions. So the first step is to open Microsoft Excel. Then uh, you have to create to create spreadsheet or worksheet so let me zoom here in order to find uh, the worksheet which is uh, very visible so here we have said different cells in this worksheet, we are going to provide you a table, table with marks students and marks in different subjects and diverse subjects. We can find, we can calculate different functions for this. For those marks so uh, as you can see this is the lesson of the day formulas and function in Microsoft Excel so let us uh, draw a table which contains number and the student names or names or names For example, in mathematics, chemistry, and physics. So, so you have for number one, number two, and just we select one and two. Then we apply to all. So, okay. Select to uh -huh. different functions. We have total. And we will calculate the decision decision if a student fail or pass using different conditions so we select the cells we want to draw a table then we click on home tab then select borders then select all borders you see that all the borders of our table are all created so that, that's the first the name of first student be Annette, Helen, Peter, uh, Danny, uh, Amy, and the Peace. Okay. Suppose Annette got Sixty-seven percent, and the in chemistry got sixty-five, and in physics got thirty. So then Helen forty-five, as you can see, I'm filling these marks in our table as the lizards of our students. 
Annette, Helen, Peter, Danny, and Amy, Andy, Peace. So now, let me provide you the all marks of our fellow students. And uh, we are going to calculate the total of each student in these three subjects. So we are we have different ways of calculating total and in Microsoft Excel we use some you can use auto summation where we select our result and we click on auto sum so this is the first step the first way the second way we can use the function of sum where we write equal and sum then brackets then say reference of mathematics say reference of chemistry and say reference for physics and then we close our brackets and we press on enter then we apply to all so the third way we can just use sum where we use summation and if we use say the difference of mathematics and which is separated by double points and use the last say difference of physics then we apply to all so let us move on decision so in decision we have to use different conditions so as you can see the total marks for those three subjects are is over 300 which means that each subject is on 100 so our decision requires to use a condition condition which means that the total when the total of a student is below 150 the student must must fail otherwise must pass so we use if condition where we use sum sum if sum will be greater or equal to 150 this student as you can see will pass will pass pass otherwise will really fade so uh, then we press we have to close our bracket uh -huh. then we press on enter you see that this student pass as you can see all of them pass passed because their marks are over 150 let us minimize the max for this entity so you see that the max the total max for entity will be under 150 so which means that he will she will fail because she faded because the max is under the pass mark so here you can use less if the total is less than 150 you see that anity will fade otherwise will will pass so so you have to remember that in microsoft excel while operating on formulas and function the, each formula begins with equal sign so after calculating the decision for unit you have to apply to all of them so that you calculate 
the functions so as you can see in the formula bar you can see the formula which you have used then you have to save your work so choose the directory then choose this temperate okay then click on save click on save you save after naming your worksheet or spreadsheet so this is the end of our work and thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe then subscribe and stay in touch with you thank you thank you for watching then call us on zero